Pusha T reveals who told him about Drake's son. Drizzy's exposed for offering six figures for information about Pusha. Plus, 6ix9ine is looking to clean up his image. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, and it's looking like Takashi 6ix9ine is ready to make some big changes to his lifestyle. TMZ reported that 6ix9ine wants to make his career his top priority right now and surround himself with more music business professionals that can help him make it big. Recall TMZ also reported that police raided his home a couple weeks ago and found a gun. 6ix9ine was on an international tour at the time the weapon was found, so his lawyers are saying it definitely wasn't his. This raid seems to have been a wake-up call for 6ix9ine, though, and I gotta say, this is probably the perfect time for him to downsize his entourage so he can stay out of any more trouble. But okay, just a couple days after Drake opened up about his feud with Pusha T on HBO's The Shop, Pusha has decided to tell where he really received the information about Drake's son. Recall we told you Drake blamed Kanye West for Pusha T being in on his secret. By the way, I'm in Wyoming, I play on March 14th, I send him a picture of my son, and the first album drops. And of course, there's a this song towards me oh, that gosh. you produced that's talking about writing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was, and I'm writing for you. I was just there with you as friends, helping you. And now you're dissing me. Well, Pusha was the latest guest on the Joe Budden podcast where he revealed that Kanye actually wasn't the one who told him that Drizzy was a daddy. It was actually Drake's longtime producer, Noah Forty Shabib, who let the Adonis out of the bag. Drake, I feel like you're going to need a new producer. I heard Kanye's pretty good. Yeah. Pusha said this information came from Forty. It didn't come from Kanye at all. Forty is sleeping with a woman. He talks to her daily, five, six hours a day, and ultimately speaks about how he's disgruntled about certain things, notoriety and things involving Drake and his career, and so on and so forth. With that also came the fact that Drake has a child. Oh, snap. He also said that this woman shared a story about a trip she took with Drake and crew to see Adonis and bring him gifts. Now, when Drake was on the shop, he said that Pusha wished death upon Forty, who suffers from multiple sclerosis. Pusha responded to that claim and told Joe Budden that he never wished death on Forty, and he was just acknowledging the ailment in his lyrics. Later in the interview, Pusha T also made sure to expose Drake for putting out a $100,000 bounty for information on him after the story of Adidon came out. Pusha and Joe Budden then questioned the rules Drake talked about on the shop and pointed out that Drake can't claim rules exist in a battle if he offered six figures for dirty information on Push. This is messy. But all right, guys, hit the sub, like, and bell button and comment down below if you think Drizzy should respond to Push's new info about 40. Bye, guys.